So we're going to look at calculating speeds and feeds. So when using a machine to cut material, the cutting process is affected by two very important factors. These are the speed of cutting and the rate at which the work or the tool is fed. So often we need to calculate the required cutting speed and the rate of feed for the workpiece that we're machining. The cutting speed. So this is the speed or the velocity between the cutting tool and the surface of the material that's being cut, as shown by the small purple arrow on the diagram. So when operating lathe, the speed or the angular velocity the material is rotating is very important. This is called the spindle speed, or S. So the spindle speed is measured in RPM, which is revolutions of the spindle per minute. So the cutting speed. The cutting speed is expressed in units of distance moved around the circumference of the workpiece surface per unit of time. So if you use an imperial system of measurement, it's expressed as feet per minute. And if you're using a metric system of measurement, it's commonly expressed as meters per minute. So the cutting speed and the spindle speed. There's a linear relationship between the spindle speed and the cutting speed. First, we need to find the circumference of the workpiece. So by multiplying the diameter by pi, as shown in this equation here, circumference equals pi times diameter, Working in metric, one complete revolution of the spindle, the cutting distance will be pi times diameter in millimetres. So it will be the circumference in millimetres is what is the cutting distance of the material. As there are a thousand millimetres in a metre, we can use the following equation to show the relationship and calculate the cutting speed. So V is the cutting speed is equal to pi times diameter times spindle speed divided by a thousand and that gives you the velocity or the cutting speed in meters a minute. So V is the cutting speed, D is the workpiece diameter in millimeters, S is the spindle speed in revolutions per minute. So this can be rearranged to make S, the spindle speed, the subject of the equation. We would do this to find out what RPM we need to have our lathe running at when we are already aware of the cutting speed required for the material we are using. So there is a chart to follow that shows you the cutting speeds of different materials. So this is a rearranged equation, so the spindle speed is equal to a thousand times the cutting speed divided by pi times diameter, and that gives you the spindle speed in revolutions per minute. So an example of this, if we're turning a 30 millimeter diameter bar um, that's steel on a lathe, what RPM would we set the machine to? So what do we know? We know it's 30 millimetres diameter, it's steel. The required surface speed for steel is between 20 and 40 metres a minute. So for this example I'm going to use 30 metres a minute as it's in the middle of the two values. So this value, the 20 and 40 metres per minute, I've got from the chart that's at the end of this presentation. So we enter the values into the equation, which gives us 1000 times 30 over pi times 30. So 30 is the spindle, spindle speed uh, sorry, 30 is the cutting speed we require, um, and 30 is also the diameter of the bar. So it's going to give us 318.31 revs a minute, which is the spindle speed. So we want to run our machine uh, with a spindle speed of 318.31 revs a minute, but in the real world it's very unlikely that the machine will have that spindle speed as an option. So we would set the machine to the closest speed down from this. So you can also use this equation to work out the revs a minute of a miller machine. The difference is you use the diameter of the rotating cutter in place of the diameter of the workpiece, as it's the cutter that's spinning. So feed rate. So now we've got the workpiece of the required uh, revolutions per minute. We need to know what speed to feed the tool across the material or the workpiece. The feed rate is referred to as the speed or velocity at which the cutting tool is advanced along the workpiece. When turning, the feed rate is expressed in distance per spindle revolution. So this can either be inches per revolution or millimetres per revolution. The feed rate is expressed in millimetres per minute and is calculated using this equation. So F equals F times S millimetres per minute. So what does this mean? The lowercase f is the feed rate of the material in millimetres per revolution. S is a spindle speed in revolutions per minute. 
So an example of this, the steel bar, 30mm diameter, and the spindle speed is 318.31, we've already worked that out. So the feed rate of steel is between 0.2mm revolution and 1mm revolution. Again, this is in the chart at the end. Um, so the example I'm going to use 0.6 again because it's in the middle. So the feed rate equals 0.6 times 318.31, which gives us 190.99mm a minute. So speeds and feeds for different materials. As earlier um, stated, the cutting speeds and feed rate is dependent on the material being cut. It's also somewhat dependent on the material of the cutter that you're using as well. So if you're using a high speed steel cutter, um, it'll have to be run slower than if you're using a carbide cutter. So the table on the next slide gives us the range of typical cutting speeds and feed rates for different materials when using a high speed steel tool.